So my name is Yan Zhi Wang, and my advisor is Professor Masood Padran. So my research topic is design, control, and application of photovoltaic systems. So photovoltaic systems have many wide applications as standalone systems for satellite uses and for the uh, solar uh, electric vehicles. A PV system is comprised of a series of PV panels, an energy storage system, and regulators or chargers connected in between. This is shown in the right figure. This figure shows the current and voltage characteristics of a PV cell. We can see that a PV cell has very highly unlinear current voltage characteristics at each solar irradiance value and this changes very much uh, at different solar uh, irradiance levels. So it is very important to design a mechanism to extract a maximum amount of power out of the PV cell. For the PV system, there are several challenges in research. The first one is the accurate PV modeling of the whole current voltage range. The second one is the effective control method accounting for the conversion efficiency variations. And the last one is how to combat partial shading effect and PV cell faults. The first work of me is to develop the accurate PV modeling for the whole current and voltage range. I use a two-step model extraction and nonlinear curve fitting, and we can achieve about eight times more accurate than the reference methods. As shown in the left figure, we can see that the measurement matches with the model very good, and then this shows better than the reference method. The second work is an effective PV system control that accounting for the conversion efficiency variation and achieve the maximum output power of the PV system. And the red figure shows the hardware design of this problem. To combat partial shading and detect and bypass PV cell faults, we developed the reconfigurable PV panel structure, as shown in the top figure. In the bottom figure shows the uh, reconfiguration that this uh, architecture can achieve. In general, it can achieve arbitrary number of PV groups and arbitrary number of PV cells. However, the number of PV cells in a PV group should be consecutive in their IDs. We developed three generations of reconfigurable PV prototypes as shown in the three figures here. The first is for combat partial shading, the second one is for fault detection and fault tolerant, and the third one is for automatic control. Here I show some results on the prototype. We can see that we manually shaded some parts of the prototype PV panel, and then we performed the optimal reconfiguration. As we can see from the results in the partial shading pattern one, after reconfiguration, we can achieve about 34% input power gain and then without compare with the baseline method without any reconfiguration, and this is quite good results. Finally, we have proposed the PV reconfiguration for electric vehicles. As shown in the left top figure, we propose to uh, mount PV cells and everywhere of the surface of the electric vehicle, like the top, the side, and also the engine hood, and the, the rear, and so on. Uh, and uh, we need to accumulate the solar irradiance at each side of the car and send to the central or controller for the reconfiguration management. And the top right figure shows the wireless sensor that we have built to accumulate the uh, solar irradiance. We have drive the car in Los Angeles and also in store to accumulate some benchmark traces of solar irradiance on different sides of the car. And we have tested our reconfiguration algorithm with two baseline algorithms. Generally, the proposed approach can achieve about two times gain in output power compared with the baseline approach. And this shows the promising of using PV for electric vehicles. Thank you very much.